Hello and welcome to Step Into Christmas, my 12 indie brands of Christmas. And today we are on number 10. It's gone so quickly. That is Nomad Cosmetics, a brand that is really dear to my heart. I absolutely adore this brand. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look, hear a bit more about the brand, then just keep on watching. So guys, it's Christmas Eve as I'm filming this. I'm so excited and to be using Nomad Cosmetics on Christmas Eve is exciting. They're one of my favourite indie brands ever and I chose to use the Iceland Fire and Ice palette. One, because it's my favourite Nomad palette, but also because I thought Fire and Ice and Ice is Christmassy. Um, so I'm going to go in with Niflheim. And I'm going to take that on a Spectrum A12. Oh, Felicia and Auntie, they're the owners of Nomad Cosmetics. They are just really genuinely lovely people. And I know through a friend of mine that they do some charity work also. And also from what I've seen of what they've done. Um, their whole aesthetic is around the places they've visited when traveling both of them love traveling and i just think that's such an exciting kind of theme to have because you it just opens up a whole world of options and i love how they also when they are releasing a palette like in the lead up they do clues um as to which destination it is going to be and it's so much fun trying to work it out for yourself and guess what it is or where it is that the destination is. There was a lot of oozes in that, wasn't there? Um, but yeah, Nomad's formula is amazing. I love it. Um, you will have, if you're not new, heard me rave about Nomad Cosmetics quite a lot, undoubtedly. I'm bringing this up fairly high, just for what it is I want to do. I'm not going to take it right out today. Um, I'm just not feeling that. I have no idea why. I hadn't planned on what I was going to do, obviously... You know, it's going to be more on the blue side um, but yeah we're, we're just going with it so I'm kind of pressing it at the edges and just to kind of blend them slightly this colour is just amazing it is one of the most beautiful blues I have in my whole collection the just the tone of it is just perfect. I mean, just look at that. When I first decided that I was going to do this 12 Indie Brands of Christmas, which has kind of been, I've cheated a little bit because there are more than 12. But when I first thought about doing it, Nomad was one of the first brands that I knew had to be in it because they're just amazing. The eyeshadows are amazing, the aesthetic's amazing. Felicia and Antia are wonderful people. So yeah, it had to be, had to be done. Um, the numbers, they're not ranked at all. It's just as I've gone through and I did make a conscious effort to put Nomad, so I was filming on Christmas Eve just because just because it's christmas i love blue looks kind of worked out worked out this way right what are we going to go in with next so i'm tempted to go no i'm gonna go with this one is it nord i think um I'm going on another Spectrum A12. Oh my god, I just love this 
Look at that little elf there. Isn't he just the cutest? I love him. Um, but yes, anyway, I'm going in with Njord. I hope that's how you say it. And I'm just going to use that to blend out these edges. Another thing that I absolutely love that they do with palette releases is that with the palette comes a postcard and on the back it's signed, it's personalised. I just think it's such a nice touch. And the personal touch always gets me. This palette isn't just my favourite Nomad palette. It's one of my favourite palettes ever. I fell in love with this palette instantly before I even bought it. This colour story is just beautiful and also obviously I've been dipping my brush in this a lot. You've got all the little imprints in the shades. I love how they do that and I always hate kind of dipping my brush in and ruining them. I'm just going to quickly pop back into Niflheim, the deeper blue. I'm just going to build that up kind of on this outer part of the lid here and right in, in the outer V. Just kind of slowly blend it gently up and into yours. I'm terrible for butchering names of shades. So I'm quickly going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then we will go ahead with the shimmers. So just stay where you are. Okay, am I going to, yeah I am, I'm first going in with Elves, I think this has to be my favourite, my favourite shade in the palette, and look at that, oh, how stunning is that shade, the brush I've gone in with is from Lois Cosmetics, I don't know if I said that or not. I just get really excited when I see this shade. I could literally paint my body in this shade and I would be a happy camper. Look at that. I was meaning to kind of put this towards the outside and another shimmer in, but as soon as I start with this, it just kind of hey, carried away because it is just such a beautiful beautiful shade just look at that and i've nearly eradicated all of the snowflakes in it that makes me sad this is one of them palettes that i would happily have a i say backup it'd be more just to look at one to use and one to look at you just call it a backup and then kind of gives you the excuse to have it. Oh, look at that. This is definitely, in my eyes, the best palette they've come out with. The best colour story. Quality wise, I mean, they're all amazing. But colour story wise, this is just perfection. So, so beautiful. I am actually, on my finger, going to go into River Glacier. 
I'm just going to dab that right at the front bit here. Not in the middle, but at the front. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, I am going in back into Niflheim, the dark blue matte, and I'm just going to kind of tap it into the shimmers a bit just to create a bit of a blend so there's no no harsh lines oh that does look nice if I want to deepen up any more I do have the black but you know I'd kind of prefer not to today and then just back in with the brush that I used for Elves, the Shimmer. I'm just going to tap that into that map. Oh, that is looking beautiful. Do I want to do the inner corner yet? No, I'll do that along with the lower lash line. So guys, I'm going to nip off and clean up, pop my base on, and then we'll come back and we'll finish the eyes together. So just stay where you are. Okay, so I've got my base on now. I just need to work out what I want to do under the eyes. Hmm. I'm first going to take this kind of flat fluffy ish morphe brush and I'm going to go into I'm going to go into Niflheim quick first and pop that right on the outer edge just connecting it up I forget how pokey this brush is she's poking herself in the eye with that Pokey scratchy. Scratchy is the word I was looking for. Yeah, I just want to get that depth in there. I'm so excited for Christmas. For all of you that celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. And for those of you that don't, then I hope you enjoy a very relaxing time or a very enjoyable time. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Season's greetings to all of you. So, now I am going to take this little fluffy brush from Artitude Cosmetics and I'm going to go into Frig, this matte up here. Oh, honestly, guys, this palette is just amazing. The quality is amazing. I love Nomad. I'm so excited to see what's coming next. I didn't pick up the holiday release. Um just more because I already have a lot to kind of get through like new releases to to do and I'm waiting on their next destination because these are my favorite I love how they do it it's just so much fun and the haunted Europe palette oh I love that so much I don't think anything can quite take the place of this one though but you never know you never know i don't know what they've got coming they're definitely a brand that i am super happy to recommend to everyone and anyone they do have some palettes where there's some more neutral options so yeah there's something for everybody Right, now I am going to take 
I'm going to take you, yeah. I'm just taking this little Morphe M149 and I'm going into Northern Lights. This is so pretty. Are you guys ready for this? I've got the shakes really bad. Sorry if you can see that. Just, just look at that. Isn't that just perfect? So pretty. So pretty. Do you know what? I, I'm regretting covering up. Where is that brush that I want? I'm regretting covering up elves. So I'm going to go back in with elves. And just kind of tap it over a bit. There we go. Kind of kept the silver a little bit, but oh, this colour, it just doesn't seem right covering it up. Right, so I'm now going to take this Pract pencil brush from the Sigma's more affordable range, I believe. And I'm going into, oh, yeah, I yeah. am. I'm going into Valkyries. And I'm going to pop that on my inner corner here. Oh, look at that. All of these shades just work beautifully together. I have mixed the cool tones and warm tones. And although you do have to be a bit more careful, obviously, with colours mixing them not over mixing them and muddying them I was so happy with the result but yeah this this particular palette if you are going to get anything from Nomad if you're wanting to get your first thing and you love this colour story grab it with both hands because it is amazing and one of my favourite palettes ever And then just with the same brush, I've just dipped into River Glacier, uh, that one. <laughs> and just with the same brush, I'm literally just going to stamp that right in the very, very inner corner. Like right in the middle of that shade. Perfect. Just to make it that little bit brighter. Look at that. That is so pretty. Right. Little brush. Little brush. You will do. No. I don't want you. Um, go for you. I'm just going to take this little A16 brush from Spectrum. And I'm going to go back into River Glacier. And I'm going to pop that under my brow. I'm recording, yeah. That looks pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Oh, do you know what? I really want to. I am. I'm just going to use this for blush and highlight. Right. I am going to... Which one do I think? I'm going to dip into... Alfheim? It's one up here. I'm just taking that on a Luxie, I think it's a tapered highlighter, and I'm just going to, let me just pull my mirror down so I can see, oh, oh yeah, so we're just going to pop that on the cheek there, oh I like that. 
I do like to do things a bit different and I do love it when products are multi-purpose, multi-use as you will know if you are not new. Oh look at that, that actually goes really well. Oh I like that. Right and then highlighter. I'm getting all excited now. Right for highlighter I am going to go in with River Glacier. Think, yeah, look at that. Just be careful to tap a bit more off because obviously it's an eyeshadow. Oh, look at that. That looks stunning. Beautiful. And then just the brush that I used to do blush. I'm just going to make sure that they are meshed together. Oh, that looks so pretty. I'm so glad I decided to do that. Mm -mm. Right, guys. So I am now going to nip off, add the finish, finishing touches, if I can speak. And then I'll be back to show you the finished look. So if you'd like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. I'm loving doing all these Christmas looks. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to let you know a couple of bits that I popped on my face. So I did touch up um, blush wise because it was really shiny um i just used the pink me up blush from pout and shout so just a bit of that and it's beautiful um my lashes are from artitude cosmetics they're in the style heartbreaker i did receive these in pr i love them i love them i think they're my, like one of my new favorite lashes and in my waterline um it's not an indie brand she glam from shein these chroma what are they called chroma zone liners this is in the shade zenith these are amazing absolutely amazing and really cheap um the liner that i have on the winged liner is from artitude cosmetics it is one of the duochrome cake it liners this one is in the shade compulsion i don't know how well yeah you can see the shift it is amazing i think it's like my favorite water activated liner that one um so yeah that's about it i have had so much fun nomad is just a wonderful wonderful brand to support felicia and auntie are wonderful people the themes are amazing the packaging is amazing the postcards that come with it are amazing can i say amazing one more time it's an amazing brand that i recommend highly so guys if you have liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up because that really does help me out if you are new if you love colorful makeup supporting indie brands finding cruelty free brands just having fun with makeup then please do hit the subscribe button come along and join the family because i have a great online family here i'm biased but they're amazing and yeah i think that is that's about it so thank you so much for spending this time with me today i appreciate every single one of you more than you will ever know i hope you're having a wonderful christmas if you celebrate christmas or i hope you're enjoying the season season's greetings um if you don't celebrate christmas but for all of you, I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.